Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Today I am going to show you everything that I got. Um, I went grocery shopping. I was gonna vlog me like actually getting the things at the grocery store, but it was way too much for me. <laughs> Zeke was being crazy and I just couldn't like do everything at the same time. So um, I decided just to grab everything and then I will show you guys everything that I bought. And then I'm gonna try to like organize the fridge and on top of the fridge right there because I got snacks too. Oh my God, you guys. <sighs> Hold on, give me a second. I'm like so stressed out right now. I am tired. I had to freaking carry everything by myself and then the kids were just not being good at the store and I was just, oh, I'm so stressed out. <sighs> Damn. Okay, I'm sorry. And then I look like, I look like shit because I don't have any makeup on so I do apologize for that. I did try to go to like the Dollar Tree to try to find um, those little like containers and baskets and stuff because I really wanted to like organize the inside of my fridge but I couldn't find any and then um, the kids were already getting impatient so I just couldn't you know keep going to different stores but I'm just going to try to fix it and organize it as much as I could. Um, Brian is the organized one. So he always organizes the fridge beautifully, but he's not here right now. So this is me trying to do this. All right, you guys. So this is everything that I got. It doesn't seem like a lot, but damn, this was like more than a hundred bucks, to be honest. So I ended up grabbing like snacks and just vegetables and fruits that I feel we needed and stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to be picking everything up and picking them out of the back so you guys can see what I got. So I ended up buying some snacks for the kids and I. So I got these from Target and then I ended up getting... Some of these Teddy Grahams crackers as well, little cookies for Zeke. These are like the mini ones. Penelope wanted these chips, so I got her these, and then I just got myself some hot Cheetos in case I ever feel like snacking on something. And then I also went to Sprouts and I got like vegetables and the meat there and like fruit. So I ended up getting some potatoes, some yellow potatoes. I got 2% milk and almond milk for Zeke because he now drinks only almond milk. 2% um, milk, milk didn't go well for him. So I ended up getting some bacon. This is the uncured applewood bacon. I usually like the maple one, but they don't have it there. I got some ground beef. I'm gonna actually put this in the freezer right now. The meat that I know that I'm not gonna use anytime soon, I just put it in the freezer oh i got some boneless pork chops i think i'm gonna make this today and i got some boneless chicken thighs so this in here and then more snacks oh these are the little small shells um to make them like sopita i'm probably gonna make them that too today i got some pop tarts strawberry but i'll be also one of these these are like the animal cookies or whatever i got some mozzarella cheese got some tortillas i tried to get as many things as i saw there because there are some things that they don't sell at sprouts that i could get like at walmart or target and it sucks because everything is so far away so it's not like i could just be like let me go get this really quick and then just go to freaking walmart because it's like too much to be putting the kids in the car seat taking them out getting the groceries and then going back and then the, you know what i mean i got some baby spinach bananas i got some jalapenos for me and some strawberries. Oh my god, all the fruit there at Sprouts is so fresh. I love it. And it actually lasts us like a long time. Unlike like when we buy this stuff at Walmart, that shit don't last. I got some of these big tomatoes. I'm gonna get a little bit because we don't really use them and then I don't want them to like freaking go to waste. I got some cherries, avocados. I got some, I got a squash, just one for Zeke. It's she just doesn't really like it. I got apples. Okay, and then I got some Cheez-Its. More snacks for the kiddos. I got some Frosted Flakes for me and for the kids too if they want some. But this is the one that I chose. We already have the Trix Trolls one for them. And then I got some Cheerios because sometimes I like to just give Zeke some Cheerios like in a little bowl and then he'll like eat them as a little snack. Some bread. 
Frank got me this bread the other day and I freaking love it. I mean, I, I've already liked the perfectly, the nature's own perfectly crafted bread. Like I would always get the white one and stuff. I just love it because it's so thick and it's so good. And he ended up getting me the other day the thick slice brochet dial. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but he got this one and oh my God, it's so good. Like I'm so addicted to it. It has like a little sweet flavor to it. I feel like you can make some French toast with that. Oh my God, this is delicious. And I got some more eggs. We have some eggs, but they're about to finish and we ate, we eat eggs like every day. So I got the 18 one. That's all I got, literally. Can you guys believe that all this was like more than a hundred bucks? That is insane. So this is everything that I got, including the milk that's right here. Okay, so this is what our fridge looks like. Sorry that it's dark. Okay, so right now over here on the door, I have, um, up here I have like cheese, I have like the little chamoy thing right here, some lard when I make my beans, butter, cranberry juice that we don't even drink unless we're making alcoholic drinks. And then I have some prune juice here for Zeke sometime. I put milk right here, whatever fits right here. Anything else that doesn't fit, I put it inside the fridge right here. Right here I have all my coffee things. So my coffee creamer, my heavy whipping cream when I make the little, the little foam on top. And then I have my Torani vanilla syrup, Torani white mocha sauce, and then I have a white chocolate mocha ice espresso right here. No, don't get that. And then down here we have like our little sauces and things, ketchup, mustard, jelly. We have some teriyaki sauce, some sweet chili sauce, sriracha, and then we have some syrup over here. And then inside our fridge, we don't really have a lot of things right now. So like I said, I took out a bunch of um, food that we don't even eat anymore. Okay, so I had originally wanted to go buy like those glass jars to put the eggs in there. But I didn't find any, and like I said, I couldn't keep looking because the kids got impatient. So I did find these that we already had, which is just like this. We don't really use them. They're just sitting up there. I think I'm going to try to put the eggs in there. See if I only have two. I don't think they're all going to fit in there. But I'm going to try. See how this goes. Oh, dang, I'm feeling like all of them probably gonna fit in here wow all of all 18 of them were able to fit in here so in here we only have six so i'm just gonna put them in here too and then if it looks weird because one of them is more em empty than the other then i'll probably just like put half and half okay so i think that's good well i ended up putting the eggs right here you can't even see them because of the light i did see on a tiktok video that this lady she likes to take all her fruit and vegetables she takes them out she washes them she cuts them up or whatever if fruits need to be cut up and she puts them in a little tupperware and i would love to do that but i just don't have time right now um eventually i'm pretty sure i will do that but she mentioned that it's sometimes easier to do that because if you see that your fruit is ready to go ready to eat it'll make you want to actually eat the fruit unlike when you just have it there like in your drawer and you still have to wash it and cut it you're just like eh, you know what i mean so we put the bread up here and then back here we have our weenies we have a big pack i actually got jalapenos so i can make them with these weenies oh my god it's gonna be so fire i think i'm actually gonna make some right now and then this is the ham ham that we have it's the chicken breast one it's not even ham but whatever it's almost done, so we'll put that back there. And then I'm gonna put the beef in. It right here too. So I put the tortillas in the fridge. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's bad, but don't judge me. <laughs> I'll, I put them under the bread. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the milk. So I already have almond milk right here. The 2% milk, the one that me and Penelope drink. And Brian, Zeke only drinks almond milk, which I'm fine, but damn, dude, this is six dollars, six and something. And I always have to buy like a bunch because he drinks so much milk. I'm gonna put the milk like that. I'm not good at organizing, guys. This is so funny. So I'm gonna put the apples in the fridge as well. I'm gonna put them down here. Have the tomatoes, squash, jalapeno baby spinach all right so now that's done even though i feel like i bought a couple of groceries there's not really a lot of things so i'm gonna put the meat right here since i'll make it maybe later 
That's my fridge. It's not even stocked up at all. Well, anyways, um, this is my fridge. <laughs> um, I got rid of a bunch of stuff. That's why there's not really a lot, but I mean, we have enough food for the three of us, so we're okay. Eventually, we'll end up having like food in there, like leftover food and stuff. And now we're gonna work on that. These are a bunch of Nature Valley bars. We have the chips. We have the Dunkin' Donuts caramel macchiato cereal. I did not like it. These are more like chewy snacks. We have like these plastic cups. I'm gonna put them in here too. So right here, there's a lot of like extra fruit snacks and some Ritz crackers that are left in here. So I'm gonna put that stuff in here. Actually, I probably put these in here because they're like so small, so I could just put them in here. Oh my God, I'm so sorry the camera's not focusing you guys. That, oh, that just ruined the whole thing. These sopa de fideo and like the pasta and lentils. I'm gonna put these in the back right here. There is our little snack. They're all up there. You know what I forgot to get? I forgot to get juice. Okay, so the yellow uh, potatoes, I like to keep them down here in this drawer. So we just put them in here. So as far as the avocados, I put this up here and just leave them in there because it's pretty dark in there. All that's left to put away is the bananas. So I ended up putting the bananas in here. So I was just thinking like, oh yeah, I can make the kids some soup with the little shells that I bought and then I have tomatoes. But I, I don't have freaking consomme de pollo. I'm yeah. looking for it at Sprouts and at Target and then I have it. Wow, you guys, Zeke just freaking, he was messing with our little stool chair that we have right here and he kept messing with it and it fell. And I don't know if it fell on him because I didn't see because I have it so fast. So he was just crying and now he's fine now, but he doesn't have anything. Like I already checked his body and everything, but oh my God. I feel like crap. Like I literally want to cry right now because today is one of those bad days to be honest. And it sucks because I don't want to film a video and just bring all this like bad, you know, bad vibes to the video. But when my husband's not here, it's just so hard and I don't know sometimes it takes a toll on me some days it's harder than other days So today is just one of those days where the kids just both decide to like not listen to me be bad Oh my god But yeah, you guys that is it for this little grocery haul Slash organizing there's not even really <laughs> I feel so embarrassed like I honestly thought I grabbed a lot of things and My fridge is so fucking empty. I was so excited, but I don't know I feel like this video was a fail but anyway you guys that wraps up vlogmas day seven don't forget to give this video a thumbs up once you finish watching it and also go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications so you guys can get notified every single time i post a new video so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow bye